<laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, we have a Sunday vlog from Alexandra Rodriguez. Um, and we're just we're just gonna get right to it. Uh, let's see. Let's gonna go ahead and do this. Normally I have it all ready to play, but I had to fix my fan because I could hear it in the background. Okay. Y'all, I'm already I'm already disgusted by this. I'm already disgusted. That is an irrational amount of dry shampoo on a head. That is that is that is a lot of dry shampoo. Stop it. Also, I'd like to, to point out to this right here is a memorial, is what I've decided for the life that Yara used to have. Her picture. <laughs> she normally has that candle lit. And that's his former life in the urn. All right, here we go. I don't know how much to do. Jesus, the holes. Oh my God, that is that is so much dry shampoo. Like, just wash your hair at that point. Oh, and we're gonna have the mirror view today. Oh, I can't wait for this because the mirror never tells lies. They're just not in the right spot for me. Tonight we're making lasagna soup. Breaking apart noodles is a lot more chaotic than I expected. They're going every Lasagna soup. She just likes all things lasagna, doesn't she? Might as well call her Garfield. Might as well call her Garfield. Well, Garfield is lazy. And he likes lasagna. And he likes lasagna, so. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am about to refresh my hair. I just went to Sephora and bought this, only this, because I've heard really good things and I was on the hunt for a new dry shampoo. So I got this one. She was on the hunt for new dry shampoo. All right, all right, if you say so. How does her roots already look so bad when she just had them done, what, three weeks ago? Good grief. One from Day. It's the Fairy Duster Dry Shampoo. This was $30. And don't get me wrong, the one I normally buy is from Living Proof, and it's also pretty pricey. I hey, you know what I use? Dove. It's less than $10. Maybe try that. I think I just feel weird this one's so small, but the whole difference is it's like straight up powder, and a little bit goes a long way. It's not spray. So I think it's going to give like the same amount of product, but I'm going to like do it. This is going to be a hot mess. Just this, this is like a, a DIY, and this is, this is not going to turn out. They're not going to turn out. By the way, this is the shirt that she took that selfie in on her Instagram that is like, hey, Alex, where did you get that jawline? And well, holy shit, look at the makeup. That, that, oh, God. Oh, Lord have mercy. Do a hair refresh right now. Even though I actually think this looks pretty cute. I got my little Skims clip in. Um, I had an appointment this morning, so I do have on Glam. Oh, side note. This is the newer shade I picked up the other day from Maybelline, and it is so much better. As you can see, this is 112, and then this is uh, 110. Okay, those are two different tones. This is a pink tone. This is a yellow tone. Those are two different tones. How does she not know this? How does she not know this? So it's just like a sprinkle lighter. This was like a sprinkle. Who? Who? Who gave her that word? I'm going to have to go to TikTok. I, I have been on a TikTok hiatus. And now I'm going to have to go to TikTok and um, peruse and see where she got this whole sprinkle from. Because, good God. Tiny bit too dark right now. Like I have to really blend it down my neck. I think this one's better. So anyway, yeah, I went to an appointment this morning and then I just popped into Sephora and grabbed this. This was the last one. So I was very excited. And I also used 500 of my Sephora points to get it for $10 off. So I spent $21. So I have not dry shampoo. Oh, good for you. You, 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 you got a discount on it. Bless your heart. 
shampooed my hair yet. You had to be like the, the peasants, the po people, and use a discount. Since I washed and styled it, so I'm really curious how it's gonna go. I think I've had this for about three days. As you can oh see, we're God. That means she hasn't showered in three days, y'all. Greasy, we're a little greasy. Section hair, hold four to six inches away and spray directly onto roots. Let it sit for 15 to 30 seconds and then massage it with your fingertips. I was really excited that they had it. Wait, didn't she say this was not a spray? And it just said spray. This is, oh. um, I don't know about you guys, if you have AT&T this morning um, for like, it just came back on actually. And it's like 1230 right now. There was this huge, I think nationwide on and off for people outage, cellular outage with AT&T. So I didn't have a uh, service when I like went to my appointment and it was like kind of liberating, but it was also kind of weird to be disconnected. So you guys will have to let me know if you also lost service. It was weird though, because my mom- She doesn't care if you lost service. She's just asking to be polite. Nobody cares if we all lost service, if we're all AT&T customers. By the way, I did, and I don't care because I was mostly asleep for it. However, uh, 911 went down. So that was fun for those who, you know, to call 911. That, yeah. Anyways, who cares, Alex, that your AT&T went down and you had to go to an appointment without um, internet service on your phone? God forbid you be away from TikTok or Instagram or you can't track your husband and his whereabouts. That's probably what you were most anxious about, but you know, I'm sure he was glad. Um, as part of our AT&T plan, she had service, but I did not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see. Four to six inches. Whoop. So you just poof it. Ooh, it smells good. I don't know how much to do. Holy. <laughs> day products all smell so, so good. Am I the only one? I discovered day products through Emily Kaiser. I feel like in the TikTok. Yeah, you're the only one because you are a single white femaleing Emily Kaiser. We all know it. We're not dumb. You're the only one who's trying to pretend that you're not. You're trying to pretend that you are the morbidly obese version of Emily Kaiser. I'm not even going to call you plus size because you're, you're, you're more than plus size at this point. And I can say that as a former extremely morbidly obese girl. World, you kind of put us all on with the styling cream, but I may be wrong. People may have discovered it far before Emily. I'm going to just kind of section some little flippies here. God, that smells so freaking good. What does oh that smell Lord. like? It's like almost like fruity, fruity candy. And I feel like the good thing is... <laughs> Once I do dry shampoo, it like kind of tends to last for like days. So that's good. It's kind of like a every few. So she'll be able to go like five more days without washing her hair. That is truly disgusting. I'm sorry, you guys. That's gross. I know that there are a lot of women who can go like 10 days without washing their hair. And I'm sorry, that's still gross. A few days after and then I usually just wash my hair. Okay. So actually, I think I spread it pretty well, evenly. It's not but... just the hair aspect. It's the entire body. Well, I know some of them actually hair. take a shower, just don't wash their hair. But the, your hair has grease and oil. It, it has oil in it. It's on. It, ugh, just, ugh. You know, I'd love to find a non-aerosol dry shampoo just because like, I don't know, I've heard they're not good for you. And I've tried the one from Kristen S. Or was it Odell? Maybe I tried both. They're both at Target. Um, and they were okay. I didn't like a lot. Her hair does not look healthy it just doesn't look healthy it looks very dry at the ends of them as much as my aerosol ones though okay so it's been about a minute I'll give it some time so now let's give it a good old ruffly do i'm actually really feeling how my makeup had turned out today you know some days your makeup it's like you love it or like other days it's just like yeah but i did like this tiny little baby wing with brown eyeliner um and the lashes are lashing you guys i'm telling you that lash food serum combined with i'm not, I'm not this is my favorite right now. I mean, I have others that I like. These are the other two. Like, I really like the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions and then the Kill Lash from Clio. These are my other two faves, but like, right now, this is big. Like, the lashes have never lashed so hard. The combo of the serum with this mascara has just been like really- She didn't tell you what the mascara was. Did you notice that? Probably because she can't link it. Working for me. So I'll link those items. If you have sensitive eyes, that serum is safe for you. I've got like the most sensitive eyes ever. Honestly, the one reason I'm not gonna probably ever, I mean, maybe, wow, look at the volume, uh, get LASIK is because my contacts protect my eyes from everything. If I try to do makeup, chop an onion, forget about it, or like do anything without my contacts in that's like sensitive, my eyes will burn so bad. It feels like I'm taking a torch to them if I get like a drop of anything in them. <laughs> and my contacts literally like protect my eyes. So I don't mind wearing my daily contacts, but um, 
I just feel like if I got LASIK, I heard your eyes can get more sensitive after the fact. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Kevin Murphy Young Again Dry Conditioner, just a little bit on the ends for like, see how it kind of gives like a little, ooh, little shine back to the hair, a little hydration, but you only wanna make sure. Um, Alex, just wash your hair. You were just saying you wanted dry shampoo if it was an aerosol, and here you are using a condition, a dry conditioner. How much shit are you gonna put on your head? Good God, just wash it. It's not that hard. Make sure this goes on your ends or mids. But I really I like the dry shampoo, you guys. There's no white cast, like at all. I feel like I like that it absorbed so well. Didn't leave a white cast. It doesn't, it never felt like wet. You know, some dry shampoos like never feel fully dry or like if they wait a long time or blow dry them. Um, and it smells incredible. It gave a ton of like volume and lift. It does say on it, it can absorb oil, add volume and extend your styles. So overall, I like it. Going with a little bit more dry conditioner. My hair does, you know, I feel like as the day goes on, your hair does get more dry at the ends after you don't wash. And it just makes like the ends so soft if you do like a dry conditioner and see how if you look at the underneath of her hair, it's all dark. Like they don't do anything with her hair underneath. Maybe I'm going to point that out to Priscilla. Has a little more shine. And I might just like touch up a couple pieces with my beach waver. I'll link this too. I love this thing. I've had it for probably 10 years. And you guys have been telling me you like the wispies when I put my hair up. So I'm definitely going to try to do that more because I agree. It just makes me feel, I don't know, like a little more cutesy. Just touch up a few pieces. I will never get sick of this beach waver. It's just like... It would probably look better if she went closer to the top of her hair and not six inches down. The quickest. And like, I haven't touched it up in days <laughs> since I did it. And it still looks like fairly decent, you know? I'll probably like wash my hair in another. I mean, honestly, I feel like that refresh with those products can easily give me a few more days. So, all right, cool. I'm really happy with that dry shampoo. So she's going to go about six days without washing her hair. All right. Shampoo. Make sure to shut off your stuff. All right. Yeah, that, that gave some nice volume. All right, you guys. So I have been putting this off. I haven't done a clothing haul here in a while. Um, another day I got the urge to look at Princess Polly. I haven't looked on their site in like a while. So um, I picked up a few things. So I'll show you guys a little Princess Polly haul. Okay. So I haven't opened it yet. And because I have the memory of a literal goldfish, we're about to remember what I ordered together. So I got this at least a few weeks ago. Oh, I was excited because they had a few things that were giving it like. She's got something on her shirt. Wow, that's classy. And this lighting really sucks. Durf Avenue, Durf, Durf. That's another Emily Kaiser influence. Okay, I didn't get that much, like a couple another pieces. And then I did fall victim to another like Instagram ad or TikTok ad for jeans from the Moco Boutique. They looked so cute on the models and I like how they always have like a plus size person and a straight size person uh, together. These are from Lovervet and they just like look so those are not a size 18. I'm going to tell you right now. I have a pair of size 18 jeans and they are not that wide. Those are not 18. If she says they're 18, she's lying. Unless we see the actual tag with her face in it in the same minute, I don't believe it's an 18. They look so Tell me it's an 18 all you want, but I'm not going to believe it. So cute. And you know how they're supposed to be like really stretchy? So hopefully they are. Um, I got my regular size 18. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I don't have regular size 18. Yeah, my ass. I have any bottoms to try on from Princess Polly. So let's try the jeans on first. Hopefully they've got a better turn policy. These are some big ass knee holes. All right, they fit perfectly. I don't think these look good on me. Seriously, she couldn't even change that shirt with the little spots on it. God, I hope this is not sponsored because that, that, mm, she's so lazy. Those look awful. I can already see her calf right there. And that is an indication that they are entirely too tight. Because I bet they're supposed to be straight leg. They like expose the part of my leg I like the least. Here's what they look like. Overall, they are so comfortable. Those are supposed to be straight leg. Because those are mm, they look like jeggings but they're supposed to be straight leg because they are entirely too tight look right there that right there tells you that is not the size that she's be, supposed to be wearing so if they actually are in 18 they are stretched to the absolute max and i still say that it is not an 18. Mm -mm. so 
stretchy. The holes. So stretchy. That's how she can wear a quote unquote 18. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Those are entirely too tight. Is it a classic fit 18? Classic size 18? Yeah. Probably. Uh, yeah. Those, those, mm -mm. uh, uh, those don't fit. She's going to say they, they are a great fit, but they're not. They're just not in the right spot for me, but I, I really like the. Uh, they're at your, where your knees are supposed to be. See right here in the mirror, how that calf, and then it it flares out right there. That's not a fit. That does not fit at all. It doesn't fit. Fit. Like they feel great. And they're all tight right there. Those do not fit. You mm. I wonder if I can exchange them for whole lists. Okay, well this is Oh, she said that she's going to for the whole list ones. Yeah. You're gonna exchange them for a bigger size, bitch. Good God. Super cute. I got this t-shirt from Princess Polly. Again, that kind of Durf Avenue vibe with like the soft watercolory fruits, I think. Fruits that she's never going to eat. So when she said she was going to eat more fruits and vegetables, she meant that she was going to wear them and try to eat them by osmosis. That's how she's going to eat fruits and vegetables, y'all. I think so. And crop tops are not for her. She really needs to stop with the crop tops. It's like, seriously. You want to go and say you have a long torso? Crop tops are not it for you, honey. Adorable. So it's a nice, like, perfectly cropped fit where it's not, like, cropped, but it will sit perfectly with a pair of high-waisted jeans. And I don't know. I just think it's so cute. It's just, like, perfect for getting into a spring vibe. No. It's got, like, lemon, grapefruit, peaches, grapes, and then some little flowers. I am craving warmth. I'm craving sunshine. <laughs> And like, just, I don't know. Like, I just want to be able to wear this with like some flip-flops out in the world. Okay, you guys know on the day today. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. At least she knew what all the fruits were. I'm going to give her that. That's my positive for that shirt. It's my positive. Hey, I'm just, I'm a sweatshirt girl. I love a crew neck. <sighs> I'm oversized, loose, comfy Sweatshirt. Um, I thought this is really cute with the Princess Polly logo and it says it's 2010. It's got cute stripes down the sleeves. But yeah, I think this is just like so, uh, so cozy. And again, like go. It fits. It's not oversized. I hate to tell you. If it's fitting that way in your boobage area, it's not oversized. And it actually looks like a big potato sack on you. To, before being quite honest, it looks like a potato sack. Going from winter to spring, it kind of gets to that point where you wear stuff like this in your leggings and Uggs until you can switch over to sandals. So yeah, I don't know. I love this. It's really soft, really, really a nice quality. And then I also got a PJ set. Really nice quality because it feels soft. That's her version of nice and quality is it feels soft. Which is also very uh, derfy in the US. 18, I got everything in an 18. So look at the cute shorts. This cute little pattern on them. They're very lightweight, which I love because I get hot when I sleep. Oh and my they're God, just they're gonna be... these shorts. And then a matching tank. It's a little candy. Oh! Go, 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 go. No, please, please never come on the vlog wearing that. Please, please, for all of humanity, please never come on wearing this monstrosity right here because holy moly, that's going to cover one boob and one fat roll. I'm sorry. She's, we just saw that she's got rolls. She's got the inner tube belly. She does. For a person who had gastric bypass two years ago, that should not be happening. You're so mean. Why are you hitting it? Because she's fat. I hate it because she lies. She's a liar. She's a liar. Um, I don't want to try this on, but here's what the model looks like. It's a very, very... I don't want to try this on because it's too fucking small, you dope. Really, like soft, lightweight. I love how it has like the eyelet design, so it's gonna give you that nice breathability if you also get hot when you sleep. And I just live for like a cute short and tank matching pajama sleep set. That's what I love to sleep in. And last but not least, got this little headband. So cute. With uh, the cherry what is the is on it? Oh, I love headbands. I really do. Especially what is the obsession with the cherries? Or hold on, cherries. What is the obsession with the cherries? What is the obsession with the cherries? Seriously in this hair phase i feel like 
you know, whether my hair is straight, wavy, or curly, I can just throw in a headband if I want to wear it down, but keep it out of my face. And it's a little bit thicker in the front, so you can kind of scrunch it if you want to. I'm so sad about these jeans because they feel so comfortable. I don't but. know how they feel so comfortable, honey. It must be because all your clothes are so fucking tight and you look like a damn sausage in all of them. So I don't understand how it could be so comfortable because this thigh looks so different in the mirror than it does here. So um, whatever you're paying this slimming filter that you have on, it's not making enough. You need to pay it more. Too much. It's too much thigh. It just doesn't feel right. So let's see. Please tell me I can return these. Looks like I can return it within 30 days of purchasing, but there's a fee of $8. That's fine. I probably will if they'll like do an even exchange, just exchange them. Cause like I said, I actually, they're very comfortable and I'm here for a comfy jean. But yeah, that's good. We need a return. We're never going to see her in jeans ever again. Or exchange these. Okay, guys, I am sitting at the island doing some work. I like working. That's all the clothes that she got from Princess Polly in my office Ugh. but like there's just i don't know there's something about working at the kitchen island it just hits every time for me okay she was seriously redoing her uh, rearranging her office and everything so she could work in her office she is at the kitchen table so she is close to her little snackies that is exactly the reason why she works in the kitchen because she can get up and go to the refrigerator it is three feet from her so I wanted to give a little recap or just touch base really quick on the Risa Tisa story. Um, oh, I, talked about it, like, I talked about it like briefly in a vlog and I've posted a couple like TikToks about it, um, but I finished it ugh, yesterday or the day before and like I miss it already. <laughs> I did the math and it's literally, she posted 50 videos. I, I forgot the math. <laughs> she posted 50 videos in that series, 50 parts, and they're all like 10 minutes. It's literally over eight hours. Okay. Here's the hint, Miss TikTok. If you double tap or hold your finger on the video you can do two times the speed and you can still hear and understand what she's saying. And you won't waste half your life that day sitting there through the 50 something part TikTok story. How do I know? Because I started listening to it, not because of you, but because of two of my subscribers said I really needed to watch it. I am only on part 14 or 15, but I, I'd rather read and watch my TikTok at night now. So, you know, there's that. You know, you know that Colleen Hoover book that you had that you're never going to read? If you take that with you to Florida again, I'm going to laugh. That'll be so fucking hilarious. Just of content. Um, and she put out a TikTok uh, recently saying that she made it like that designed to be like listened to as an audiobook, which was genius, which is exactly what I did a lot of the time. I would just kind of, I put in my AirPods and just, you know, do the dishes or whatever. And, uh, listen to it. And her voice was so soothing. Um, I did hit a little with the two X speed sometimes when I could, but otherwise I just, I spent time listening to that. Oh, so she did know how to do the two X speed. Oh, okay. And the story was just incredible. I'm so glad she shared her story. Um, I'm sure it's going to help so many people who have that like gut feeling that like something is wrong, you know, trust your gut people. I just feel like we were given with this instinct, trust your gut. Every time I haven't trusted my gut, like it proves to me like, girl, you should have trusted your gut. So oh, just, I am so invested now. Alan trusted his gut and broke up with you. Good for him. Maybe Yar should have trusted his gut and not look at his bank, look at your bank account. On the whole story, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, there is Risa Tisa on TikTok. Posted, you've probably seen it. She posted a story time called Who the Fuck Did I Marry? And it, she starts every video like that and it's ingrained in my head for the rest of my life. It is just so good. This woman married a pathological liar during uh, lockdown, during COVID. And he just like lied about everything everything like was on the phone talking to people that didn't exist family members that didn't exist or that he hasn't talked to in a decade and she's using someone else's content as content y'all realize that right she's going to talk about this for five minutes and it is going to be her con she's using someone else's content for content <sighs> lied about his job lied about the money he had putting in offers on homes that with like a fake um chase approval letter it was just so much. It's just so much. And it, she's really great at telling the story. I found it was the perfect pace and detail oriented flow. I thought it was perfect, but um, I'm really happy for her because one of the things he had lied about was like getting her, he kind of like keep giving her crumbs to like keep her there, which is super like narcissistic behavior. Been there. Um, but uh, you've been there because you're the narcissistic, you have the narcissistic behavior. So you know exactly how he's working because you do the same thing. You do the same thing because you are a huge fat fucking narcissist. That's a great screen pause there.
man, I'm so good at this green boss. But he promised her like, a trip to dinner. She's always wanted to go for her birthday. Um, and now like we're all just like rooting so hard for her. And like, I saw that she's going to be going there. Um, and I think I saw in the comments that Delta like wanted to fly her there. And then someone else, like a hotel commented about putting her up. Like people are giving so much love to her and it just makes me so happy. And she's going to vlog her trip there. And now I'm just so invested. Um, we're saying like, call it life after Legion. We're all rooting for you. It's just, oh, it's just, I'm so happy for her. And it's just such a magical thing to follow. Um, all this good stuff that's coming to her now. I did see, I can't decide, like I can't find the original anywhere, but I guess he came out and posted like a response saying that, why are you lying? You cheated on me with Bradley and all the comments. By the way, I saw this guy, that this story is, that Risa Tisa, her story is about. And let me tell you, dude would not have even gotten a second date. A second date. Because he is, I, I know, everyone has their own level of who they are attracted to and who, you know, they all have their own type. Everyone has a type. I have a type. My husband has a type. My best friend has it. Everyone has a type. Alex has a type. They are men of color, as uh, Nella likes to say. She likes dating men of color. Um. And I think I said on the live or uh, the last live or the live on Friday night that I find black men attractive. I do. There, some are good. Shamar Moore. Ooh, -hoo. he is a good looking man. Denzel Washington, another good looking man. Uh, Avery Jackson from, I can't remember his name, his real name, but that's his name on Grey's Anatomy. Good looking man. So everyone has a type, but this guy, was not worth what she went through. No, ma'am. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, no. Comments are like, who the hell's Bradley? We all know there's no Bradley, but um, I'm just I'm so invested. I just, like have to talk about this. Um, my friend is watching it too, and uh, I've been talking about it with my her. My like, friend, my friend. Does your friend have a name other than Casper? Because I'm pretty sure it's an imaginary friend, and you're too old to have. Well, okay. You're chronologically too old to have an imaginary friend. Mentally and emotionally, maybe not. Okay. It's just so much. Like, please, if you have not listened, I know it's a lot, but like, the great thing is if you click on the playlist, you can just play in order and it auto plays. So like, you can just throw in your headphones and like fold laundry or whatever and listen. And it's just incredible. I want to get a book deal, movie deal, all the above. And I'm sure she will because it has taken the internet by storm. I'm sorry. I just, I had, I had to talk about it. I'm also watching Love is Blind right now. I'm a little behind um, because I wanted more episodes to come out. Uh, I just started episode six. Have y'all noticed that she just watches anything related to love and relationships? Love and relationships, like the things that she would really love to have. That's what she, that's what she watches. Six last night and then got tired and stopped watching. But I think up to episode nine is out now. Every, I can't like give my opinion on it yet because every 30 seconds, my opinions on certain things change. So yeah, I'll talk about that more when please don't. I watch like up to the rest. But it's please don't talk about it more. You already talk about it enough. Really, uh, really um, Alex, season so far. let me tell you that when you hold your eyes closed with the filter on, your eyelashes be filtering. So that's my little reality catch up of the day. So I did um, print out the label and box up the jeans um, and I'm going to go drop those off at the post office. All right, you guys, it is now five o'clock. I went and did my return at the post office and I'm about to whip up dinner. So I thought I would share with you guys. I'm trying actually something new that has been all over the interwebs. And I've actually, I've tried. Lasagna soup has not been all over the interwebs just recently. It has been a thing previously. So it's just recycling, just a trend that's recycling. That's all it is. I had several TikTok recipes all the way back to the feta pasta, and I haven't had one not be good yet. So tonight we're making a lasagna soup. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of this avocado olive oil blend oh, into the pot. So a pound of lean ground beef. Oil. I'm gonna use my handy dandy meat masher, and then we'll get it all. The handy dandy meat masher that mashes up Bruno's food, their food, everything cooked and browned. Okay, so I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic and onion powder. I'm also gonna add in a lot of minced garlic. Let that kind of cook there as well. I drained the excess oil, and I'm gonna add in 
okay. this um, reduced sodium chicken broth into this whole container, which is 32 ounces. And I'm going to add in this whole jar. She's put reduced sodium chicken stock in there. But I guarantee you she's going to add salt to it. 28 ounces of crushed tomato. You can do chunky if you want, like diced, but I like smooth. And I'm going to add in some tomato paste, a couple tablespoons. Mix it all up. So I seasoned the beef really well, but now I need to season the broth a bit. So I'm going to do oregano, um, a little bit of thyme. Oh my God. And I don't love the taste of rosemary, so I'm just going to do like a little, little bit. And I'll taste it later, but I'm going to do a little. What? I told you she's going to put salt in it. Why even do rosemary if you you just put a touch in it? More salt and pepper. She did low sodium. And she goes and puts salt in it. Not too much because I don't know how salty it's going to be from the broth. But I don't know how salty it's going to be from the broth. Honey, you put low sodium broth in it. It's not going to be, oh, for the love of God. Sprinkle and we'll see. Now we're going to bring this to a boil before we put in our noodles. Okay, so I brought it to a boil. Fucking and hand. And I turned it to low, because we're not gonna eat for probably like 45 minutes. She, and then- she, she, Is she trying to be a hand model? Did we miss that memo somewhere? Is, is that what we're trying? I'll come back probably 10 minutes before we're ready and break up some dry lasagna noodles and let them cook in here. Um, and then serve it with like some cheeses on top. So I will be back when I put the noodles in. Okay, it is time to add in our noodles. I just went ahead and tasted this and it is incredible. I ended up adding some red pepper flakes. This is my first time making it. I looked up a bunch of recipes and kind of just made it my own. Um, but I added a little bit of red pepper flakes for heat. And she made her own. She looked up a bunch of recipes, but then she decided to make her own. So she kind of pick and chose, which is fine. Completely acceptable. Because uh, I would probably do the same. But I guarantee you it doesn't taste good. And it is delicious. So now we're just going to break apart lasagna noodles. You know, some bigger and some smaller. And let these... At that point, why didn't she just put regular pasta in? Why has it got to be the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Why did... Why? Why? And again, um, we are two months into the new year. And for people who were going to eat less meat because, you know, to help the environment, I don't know how that, what that is about. Um, but everything she has shown us is, has, has had meat. We haven't had a meatless meal yet. We'll probably get it in a week. So cook in the broth. I don't know if I want them big or small, so I'm going to just... Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh Jesus. Breaking apart noodles is a lot more chaotic than I expected. They're going everywhere. But for real, this tastes incredible. So I She has a piece of pasta. The noodles and with a little bit of a, like, a butt on top. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, and it sounds. All right. There we go. Oh, my God. Give that a good mix. I just have like a half a box left. So just use what we have. Just had. put the just rest of like box good, in, Alex. Yeah, nice texture. So I'm going to bring this back to a boil and let this cook for about 10 minutes. And then we'll add our toppings. All right, you guys. It is time to serve it up and put on our toppings. So I ended up just Yo, like that bowl is huge. Um, that bowl is so damn huge. A little mixture versus like putting them all on separately, like the way you would make an actual ricotta mixture for a lasagna. So ricotta, Parmesan, Italian seasoning, um, and a little bit of mozzarella. So you can kind of just let it melt. She didn't, she she bought that, didn't she? She didn't make that. She bought that because if she had made it, she would have shown us, right? Right. On top, like take a little bit with your bite. So let's give it a final taste test. All right, you are finishing up work, but then we're gonna watch John Wick 3. Feels like Fast and Furious all over again where we're just like binging the series. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, here's a bite with a little bit of everything, the cheese mixture, uh, the meat and lasagna noodle. I gotta let it like cool down, it's very hot. All right, I like this better than lasagna. Oh my God, if you need a new dinner idea, this is it. Great leftovers. <gasps> That's really good. And once you like add in the noodles, it becomes less brothy. Cause like at first I was like, this is a lot of broth, but it does soak up into the noodles. Wow. The colors of her clothes are an indication of her life. This color is so ugly. I'm sorry, Princess Polly, but it is an ugly, ugly color. When I think of a princess and Princess Polly clothes, I see vibrant colors, not this milk chocolate. It's not even milk chocolate. It's like this chocolate colored, like it's the color of that milk chocolate gets when it's old. That's the color is what I see. It's ugly. It's an ugly color. 
10 out of 10. Definitely give it a try. Let me know if you do. And let me know if you guys have any other fun recipes you want to try because I love trying a new dinner recipe. Tomorrow. Love trying a new dinner recipe. Okay. You guys, guess what tonight is? We've got our leftover lasagna <sighs> soup. Oh, Yard got his McLaren shirt. Oh, wow. That wasn't even on purpose. I know. It's a special night in the Rodriguez household. It's a special night in the Rodriguez household. Oh, you notice they're sitting on Bruno's little pad there, and there's Bruno. So, good job on getting the dog hair all over you. Bruno even has a little snack ready to go. We're about to watch the new season of Drive to Survive. It's Friday night. This is a perfect Friday night, and I know we're going to binge this. So fucking, so, fucking hand. And the vlog here. Happy Sunday when you're watching. Let me know if you guys watched the new season yet. No, okay. nobody wants to watch your stupid Formula One shit that you don't even enjoy. You're just pretending to enjoy because of your quote-unquote husband. <laughs> Lord, it was just as shitty as I figured it would be. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, of course, there will be a new vlog on Tuesday. Um, it may be live. We may do a live stream. We may do a, um, it may be recorded. Who knows? It may be even after dark. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what the day brings us. Um, I already have my to-do list for the week. So there's that. I forgot my water. Um, so I know my chicken alarm is going to go off here in just a minute. So I can go out and do the chickens. But uh, if you haven't, give the, the video a thumb up, thumbs up, or a thumb up, whichever, you know. Um, uh, make sure you uh, go and subscribe to my channel. I haven't seen if Priscilla has her reaction up yet. Uh, I think I saw that Mama Goob has her reaction up. It just went up shortly, a little while ago. Um, so go check those out. I know Nella is out having a fun day with her, her friends and family. Um, so she'll probably get to the reaction later in the week. So you guys have a great week. And we'll chat later. Bye.